Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to show you the new, brand new Fun Stampers Journey Spring into Summer Mini Catalog. It is called Celebrating Life's Moments, and it is filled with some amazing things. The first stamp set that I'm going to use out of this catalog is my favorite. It's called Blue Skies. It has some of the most beautiful images in here, but it's just a shabby, chic, vintage, beautiful, beautiful stamp set. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this card. If you purchase this stamp set between now, um, which is April 1st, and April uh, 7th, you are going to be able to get this card from me free. I will send you this card in the mail if you order this stamp set by Saturday, April 7th, 2018. Um, it's a, just a really pretty card, and who doesn't love to get fun mail? All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this card today, but wouldn't you like to get it free in the mail? All right, so um, I'm also going to show you this card right here. I did that also with that same stamp set. Super easy and fun. Um, like I said, you don't have to do a lot of coloring on this if you don't want to. And this is just a really pretty, beautiful note card. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take and move all of this stuff out of the way and then bring in my grid paper here. And what we're going to do is um, start with just stamping the... Um, just with stamping the image onto our cardstock. So I'm going to bring in two of these and I'm going to bring in my stamp set and my black licorice ink. Now what I'm going to do differently on this one than I did on the original one is I am actually going to take and um, let me bring that in there so you can see what I'm working on. I'm going to take and um, um, emboss this one to make it even a little bit more um, beautiful, um, more elegant. But you can take and just do a beautiful little note card like this and send it out because it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's uh, just take and stamp this down. And yes, I'm going to do two of them at the same time. Do you see how, how beautiful the um, etching is on this one? It is just so very detailed. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, and then... Throw our powder right on here. We have our Journey Media Tray here, clear embossing powder. And I'm going to bring in my heat tool and just heat these. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, so we have both of these heated, and the card is almost done, very seriously here. All right, let's, let's do some of our layering. I'm going to get out my Journey Foam Squares, and I'm going to get out my Easy Glide, and we're just going to start our layers. I'll have all the measurements for these on my blog, um, but it's just very, very easy to do. There we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is add this to our card base. So I'm going to grab my card base. I'm going to grab my crease tool. Or my crease tool here, and then just use some journey foam squares. There we go. Yep, you only need two of them here. Almost done. Okay, there's that. Now we've got our little rosette. If you haven't seen our little rosette, um, I use the spiral lines die, okay, um, and I make those into a rosette. 
Now you can take and you can use this as a, um, a, a couple of different ways, but what I love to do about this is I just ran this through my um, uh, machine, my die cutting machine, and then um, here is what your rosette looks like. But what we're gonna do to make this little guy right here is to, um, we're gonna take and we're going to cut it. And what I mean by that, if you do it a full, a full rosette, it's gonna be big, okay? We don't want it that big. We want a little tiny one. You can even do little tiny rosebuds depending on how much you cut off with this. So for this, for that particular rosette, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off um, three little um, sections of this. So I'm gonna start it at this little end piece right here and I'm gonna cut off one, two, and three. So I'm just gonna go in one, two, and three and I'm just gonna cut these off and it makes this part of it a lot smaller. Now what I like to use is a quill tool, and this is what a quill tool looks like, but you don't have to go out and buy one of these. This is kind of an old lost art, um, but what you do is there's a little tiny slit in here, and you add that to this piece right here. Now the most important thing is, is to roll it the right way. So what I tell people to do is to make sure that your quill tool, or what I'm going to show you in just a moment, is um, straight up and down over your piece right here. Now, if you don't have a quill tool, I'm going to show you something that I know you already have. Because this is me and because I always tell you to make sure you have your bloom tool, we're going to show you how to, to roll this on a bloom tool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to switch out my little um, ends right here with one of the straighter ones. Okay. So you can either use the pokey one or you can take and you can use the smallest um, one with the little ball on the end of it. And that's the one I like to use. All right, so I'm just going to switch out. I'll take out the uh, the brush, and what, the way you do that is that little ball bearing. See, you're very. It's very important to have one of these bloom tools because it is so versatile. All right, so we have our little bloom tool with um, one of the straight ends on it. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my um, little um, my little uh, mini glue dots here, and I'm going to add that to my the end of my little guy right here. All right. And that's why these, these, you know, people, some people say, oh, I don't like them with these things on them. They're so easy to use and so versatile. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to actually stick it right to the end of this. And I'm going to, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to kind of pinch it around. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it with these two fingers. I don't want to, I don't want to press it hard. I just want to use them as a guide. And we're going to just start, um, we're going to just start going around in a, in, uh, actually just following the, um, the little uh, spiral okay so what I'm doing is I'm just literally turning this and just guiding it with this finger over here with these two fingers over here all right and it just goes around in a circle so if you don't have a quilling tool or you can't find one to purchase all you have to do see how it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller remember this is gonna go right here in the middle just like that all right then you know you have it the right way and you're just gonna guide it all the way around all the way around until you get to the end and you see now this just comes right out I'm going to show you how to clean that off in just a minute but it comes all the way to the end just like that all right and then what we're going to do is to take some of our journey craft glue and this is the fastest drying this is the most awesome glue you've ever bought okay you're going to take and just put a glob of it right there okay and then just sit there let this loose okay now you want to let that go and unravel just a little bit you don't want it too tight not for this card all right we'll put the top back onto this for now we're going to leave it out because we're going to use that to attach this stuff all right we're going to just kind of sit here and hold it for just a moment but because i didn't want to do that on camera i have one that i've already glued all right so i'm just going to take and put this one over here so what i do is i just lay these with something on the top of it just like that and then it dries all by itself and you don't have to sit there and hold it now what I'm gonna do is because this is our, our flat bottom I'm gonna take and I'm going to actually fluff and rough this up just a little bit so it looks more like a, a little rosette all right now you can make this as tight or as loose as you want and mine is, is um, fairly loose I like that and now what we're gonna do is to make this um, little black piece so what I'm gonna do is bring in my journey twine and just do maybe a couple of little tinies. All right, so you know what? I'm going to try something very different. I'm going to take and I'm going to put a couple of mini glue dots down here. All right, uh, let's see. We'll just put them right here. I'm just going to put a couple of them right over here. And I'm going to show you. Oops. All right. 
And I'm going to leave these out because we might need some more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a flower out of this right here. So instead of doing this one where I just did back and forth, back and forth, I'm going to make a little bit of a flower. Alright, I might need another little mini glue dot here uh, as we go along. Just a little bit of a variation on this one. So cute. Alright, and that's why I love these little things. Alright. There's that. And I'm going to do one more so it doesn't look... Alright, let me grab one more of these little guys right here. Just something different. There we go, one more. Alrighty, so we just made a little bit of a flower right there. And I'm going to trim it off with my Grand Pro shears. And let's see if that's, oh, so perfect. Alrighty, so there's our I just cut off the last flower, that's so funny. Anyway, let's just throw this on here like this. All right, we're gonna throw this on the top. We're not quite done yet, okay? I'm gonna show you how I, I did both of these. All right, so all I did for this one right here is to just go back and forth like this. I did it about three times. Okay, just made just this little tiny thing like that. You're going to grab some of your mini glue dots. I add that to the bottom right down here. Add, whoop, let's go over this way one more time. There we go. We're going to throw that down there like that. I'm going to add some of my craft glue and then just add this one that I just did and isn't that cute now you see it depends on how how much you let it um, kind of fan out so this one's a little bit bigger than this one and this one's a little bit bigger than this one this one I kept very 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 tight do you see how pretty that is but we're still not done one more little thing now the difference between this one and this one is the embossing and um, I like them both ways so you can do them very fast, very, very fast. Um, now one of the things I wanted to add was our um, sparkle silk. So let's just grab our sparkle silk and add that to this flower right here. Now it's gonna look like it's really white to begin with, but when it dries, it just dries sparkly and silky. And remember, you can get this card for free if you order it this week. That's this week's special from Deb, all right? You order this and I will send you this adorable little card, all done, ready to go in the mail. How fun is that? I'm gonna add a little bit more right here because I just love this. Like I said, when it dries, it just sparkles. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. And that is our card for today. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Remember to put your order in for this stamp set this week. Um, I'm always here to help. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you for stopping by.